supposed to start the vlog about five minutes ago, but I just got pulled over, so it's a good way to start the first the first vlog, I guess. Um, I really just want to use this as my daily journal and just kind of share with everyone what I got going on and, and how I'm dealing with the daily struggles of life and, and self improvement and all that good bullshit. Um, so. I think my main thing is fitness. Uh, today I started a new new cycle, new workout plan. Uh, been, I'm coming off of a maintenance cap, a maintenance cycle. If you guys are, many of you are aware of that or not, but maintenance is where you find a calorie mark that is at a point where you're not losing weight, but you're not gaining weight. Um, we'll get more into that later, but that's super important. This is the first time that I've went into a maintenance cycle and managed to do that. Every other time. I've uh, went into a maintenance cycle, I've gained weight, and then when I restart my cycle, I'm kind of just losing the weight that I've already lost once, and that's really frustrating because then you kind of plateau. Um, but I'm at one, 192 right now. Um, when I started my weight loss journey, I was at 220. So not like a huge amount of weight uh, loss, but it's been a lot more about body comp for me. Um, but anyways, yeah, so this new cycle I'm starting right now, uh, it's an eight week cycle. I'm, gonna, I'm doing a push, pull, arms, or push, pull, cardio, arms, legs. Um, so today we did uh, squats, and it's, uh, this one also I'll, I'll mention, I've been lifting heavy for the last eight weeks, um, and now I'm looking to get a, a little bit more toned as we go into the fall, and I, I'm looking to bulk around the holidays, so we're gonna try to tone down a little bit so I don't get too fat this week. Um, but we're doing, a, I did a set push workout. So we started out with a barbell squats, four sets of 10, at a pretty easy weight. Like I said, I'm, I'm going lighter right now, I'm just trying to build up that endurance and, and cut down a little bit. We started out with squats, then we moved into push press. Um, same sets there, four by 10. Uh, then when we went and did some, uh, some leg press, and then we moved back into chest uh, and did uh, or chest and tries is what I also do on, on my push days. So we did a dumbbell bench press and uh, and tricep uh, tricep dips and uh, tricep pull downs to end it out. Um, and then always got to hit abs, get rid of the pudge uh, or the squish, as uh, some people call it. Uh, and with that, I did uh, we did incline sit ups. So I find incline sit ups to be the most effective ab workout. I mean, science proves that too. I mean, as far as ab workouts go, everything's pretty equal, to be honest with you. Um, it's, but it's really hard to be incline setups, at least for me. And I mean, crunches are great, regular setups are great, but getting off the ground kind of helps my back and my neck. So those are always a go-to. Um, and then we ended with uh, 10 minutes on the treadmill. Doing uh, 10 minutes on the treadmill is kind of an interesting way to do it. We, I go up the first three minutes, I kind of gradually go up, and then the middle five, I, I, I push absolutely as hard as I can. Um, I just keep going up, 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 up until I reach my max, try to reach my maximum threshold there for the, the last minute. Uh, and then we're going to get to eight minutes, I mean, I should say, and then the last two minutes, I turn it all the way back down. Uh, and then we do 20 minutes of the sauna. So that's what we got. That's what we got going on for the workout, um, for food, food today or fuel, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm doing uh, oatmeal for breakfast with a protein bar. Uh, nothing crazy with oatmeal, just regular oatmeal microwave, a little bit of almond milk, and uh, I always put a half an apple in my in mine, just to make sure it's not quite so bland. Love to do cinnamon, but couldn't find it this morning. That's another story. Um, and then for lunch, we did. We're doing. Uh, Broccoli, I keep saying we, but me. Uh, I'm doing broccoli, carrots, potatoes for my side dish, and then chicken thighs for my, uh, my protein. And granted, chicken thighs are a little bit higher in fat, but I'm gonna do a double, I'm doing a two a day today. I'm gonna do some cardio in the evening, so, and my carbs aren't, aren't too high either, so, other than the oatmeal. So, we're gonna, we're gonna get away with that for lunch today. Um, and then for dinner tonight, we're gonna do Taco bowls. So I did a uh, black beans, a little bit of corn, chicken, and some bell peppers. 
um, should equal out to about 2,000 calories a day for me, which is, you know, a fair amount of calories for the amount of activity I'll do today. So we'll see how that works. And so we're gonna, we're gonna keep, I've been ranging at 25 to 2,800 calories. So I'm hoping to knocking off the 800 calories a day um, should put me in a good deficit. Um, we'll see. Uh, like I said, I'm at 192 right now. I'm trying to get down to 170, 175. Um, I don't really like using weight as a, a metric, but right now it's kind of the best thing I got going. Uh, I did order a, a body fat caliber so I can get that body fat percentage because I think in, in reality, if you're doing a lot of strength training and, and body recomp, weight weight can get kind of deceiving. Like I said, I weigh 192 right now, but I, I weigh 192 previously and it's a totally different 192 than, than I have been in the past. Um, but yeah, so that's what I got going on as far as fitness goes. Um, I was, I'll also talk a little bit about career and, and you know brain improvement, all that good good shit. So right now, uh, right now my goals are to finish up personal training school, which is a little bit long. I'm doing these videos just to kind of share with you guys what I'm learning and, and thing I'm passionate about. Um, currently working nine to five, warehouse job, warehouse supervisor, super normal, average, average American top job nothing crazy uh, and then I'm glad after the personal training is finished though I'm looking at doing firefighter training so a lot of my things the next next six months will be be based around getting ready for that um, as far as goals that I have right now I'll share with you guys is you know my main three right now is like I said earlier I want to get down to 175 probably going to change that metric once I get my body fat caliper and do body fat percentage versus weight because weight is just like I said not the best best tool when it comes to the weight loss when it comes to your know, body recon um, and then yeah and then okay other than the fitness goals my other goals like I said finish a personal training cold finish my personal trainer certificate uh, we try to get that done by into September ish, I'm kind of taking that a little bit slow because I'm, uh, you know, in the past I've set these hefty goals and, and you know, really about killed myself to reach them. And I do want to reach them, but I always find myself at this point of resentment. Um, I don't want to do that, uh, especially not with working out and fitness because the last thing I want to do is turn this into something that seems like real work when it's something that I'm so passionate about and something that's been such a, a saving grace for me every time I've had some hardship in my life and I'm definitely in one of those transitional hard times in my life right now and we'll get into that later um, but yeah so feeling pretty good today it's Monday finally talking to you guys I've been saying I'm going to do this for the past six months I'm just not doing it um, and I guess to, to finish everything up my other goal is to not smoke for six months I've been a big pothead for the last decade I'm uh, like 18 days now without smoking which I mean yeah give me a cookie it's a real hard thing to do but for me it is it's a pretty big deal um, so not smoking for six months get down to 175 um, finish personal trainer go uh, finish personal trainer, trainer school um, and then move on to some new goals that's where I'm at right now um, yeah, just trying, trying to get it done. Just trying to find, find some motivation. Trying not to get too overwhelmed. But I think the, the quote I'll leave you, with you guys today is: I know that you know a lot of times life gets, gets pretty hard. And there's a lot. It feels like a lot is on your plate. You know, the weight of the world sometimes feels like it's on our shoulder. Um, and I just want to remind you guys: to whom much is given, much is required. I wish I could remember who said that. Probably somebody pretty smart. Um, part of the meal at least but yeah just remember that one when it feels like you got a million and one things on your plate and you're juggling life and, and fitness goals and, and career goals and family goals and, and all that stuff too man because I know it gets a lot and it's real easy to just be mundane it's real easy to just do whatever it takes to get through but there's a lot more to life to that when, when you can really have the discipline to, to, to move forward and, and keep your feet moving and, and do something that's better for your life, whether that's health, uh, whether that's fitness, you know, whatever that may be. But I'm pulling into work now, so 
we will uh, let you go. I'm only about five minutes, ten minutes, five, ten minutes late today because I got pulled over. Uh, granted, I was speeding, so. Nice cop, though. He didn't give me a ticket, and my tabs are, are expiring. So, you know what? We'll take that as today's blessing and the reminder that I need to get my shit together. Um, but, yeah, uh, thanks for, for listening. Thanks for sharing. I hope that uh, with this I can hold myself accountable and maybe help hold you guys accountable, too, to reach your goals. So, yeah, have a good day. Get the bread, baby. <laughs>